resetting everything, we are going to once again close the Update Manager and first enable the Medibuntu repository. This is going to be one of the only times in this install that you're going to have to go into the command line. So, first we're going to go to the internet and we're going to go to Google because it's really simple. Just enter in Google Medibuntu. It will be taken to the main page of the Medibuntu repository. The Medibuntu repository will give you uh, all kinds of software that's on there. You can see those in packages. There's a lot of uh, stuff on here. Let's see. I mean, Acrobat Reader. Um, let's see. Google Earth. <coughs> uh, M Player. Skype. Uh, all, the, all the cool codecs that you need to playback uh, video files, really stuff like that, you really want it. Now, it will also give you a how-to, repository how-to. Just scroll down and go to Ubuntu Jaunty Jackalope. Now, right-click and select this line. Right-click and choose copy go to Accessories Terminal, which is your command line, right-click, paste, and hit Enter. It's going to ask you for your password. Okay, that's in order. I'm going to check back if there's anything else that I can do. Then I have to add this key, because um, you need the key for the repository to tell Ubuntu that, you're, that the repository that you're using is legitimate. Otherwise, anyone can set up a repository and people can just set out, send out malicious software. So you always need the key. I just copied that line. There you go. Copy. I'm going to paste that one as well. Right click, paste, and hit enter. This is going to set up uh, the new repository. Click Yes. Okay. And there it is. Now everything is up to date. We have all our repositories that we need set up and the Update Manager is going to launch itself again and you can see that we have a lot more that we can choose from. Now, before we go any further, we're going to choose to install all these updates and we'll be back after that. So, install updates. Once again, it's going to probably ask you for your password. No, it's not. It's just going to download everything. If you click on the button, you can see which one it's downloading. I have 104 files to go, so I'm going to go downstairs for uh, some more coffee and we'll be back as soon as the updating is done. Okay, now so far we've installed the system using the partitions that we mentioned earlier on. We have modified the graphical user interface so it looks a little bit more like something you might uh, be acquainted to. We have uh, added repositories so we can download more software and we have updated our entire system. Looks pretty good and we only are about half an hour into an entire installation. So, I'm going to show you two ways, or either three ways, to install a certain application. The first way I'm going to show you is a graphical way to add new programs to your Ubuntu install. To do this, go to the, well, we'll call it the Start button, and click on Add Remove. This will give you a graphical user interface on how to install uh, new applications on your Ubuntu system. Now, before you begin, make sure that this tab reads all available applications so you will have an overview of all of the applications that you can download. Now, let's just uh, make sure that you know that not all of the applications that you can find are in this list, but a lot of them are. But I'm going to show you how to do it later on. So, if you want to install something the very, very easy way, just select a category where you want a piece of software from. Let's say going to go with Internet. We're going to take a look at something that might be interesting to us. Let's see. Uh, a Gmail notifier that might be interesting. So just click on that. It's going to ask you to uh, 
install from the community, you're going to say yes. And that's about it. All you have to do right now to uh, finish that application of that certain program is click on apply changes. But you don't have to do that just yet. I mean, you can also select other programs. For example, uh, I'm going to go for, let's see, open office and you can see the programs that are already installed are marked and the ones are not those are unmarked so if you want to take a look at an application that you installed and you want to uninstall it well just you know remove the check mark and you'll be good to go now there's a lot on there there are several categories like for example games I'm gonna go with open city it's kinda like um, like SimCity. And all of these games are absolutely for free. Now if you want an oversight of the uh, installation you have already installed, you can choose installed applications only and then you get a list of the applications you have already installed. See, there are quite some on there and you can deselect them as well. But now we're just going to go with the apply changes. We've selected two extra applications. Going to press apply changes. Going to say you want to install the GCheck Mail and the Open City application, just click Apply and enter your password. And that is it. That's a very, very easy way to add new applications to your Ubuntu install using only the graphical tools that are provided with you. So that's pretty convenient. It's fast. It will download the applications straight away. It will install them straight away and it will put them in the main menu. So we're going to see what the application is actually doing. You can, you can kind of peek along behind the screens as the application is being installed completely automatically. And it's going to make everything OK. And there it is. New applications have been installed. Click Close. We're going to take a look. I think it's about at internet. There it is, G-Check Mail. And in the games, uh, I think that it's around here somewhere. There it is, Open City. There you go, calibrating earthquake subsystem. You have your nice little application, your nice little game, and you can do whatever you want to with that. Pretty interesting once you get it going, but you have to know how. Let's see, build a house somewhere here. I don't know. You know. You know how it works. Quit that. Now the second way I'm going to show you to install applications features the command line. You can just go to the start button, accessories, and open up the terminal. And there's a pretty cool application on there that will let you uh, find out what programs you can install and it's called Aptitude. How it works is very simple sudo, because you want to uh, run this uh, terminal command with advanced writes, aptitude, install, and then the first letters of the application that you want to install. Let's, for example, say I want to install Skype. I press the first letters. I press the tab key, and there we go. It gives me an entire list of all the things that I can install that have the name Skype in it. So I'm going to go for sudo aptitude install, and here it is, Skype. Okay. So you see it's actually more of the command line version of the tool that we just saw. It asks you, do you want to continue? Press yes, and it's going to install it. If you look closely, you see the Metabuntu archives that we just added to our repositories and it's going to get Skype from there and it's going to install everything and all of the fancy stuff like Google and stuff like that can be easily installed using the application or the command line command called aptitude also a very nice way to install something it's going to take a little while to download because quite a little bit of applications you can see some things are going to come from the Metabuntu some are going to come from the archives it will get its software all over the place you can now see that it's installing that application. Takes a little bit of time. Setting it all up, that's all. You don't have to do anything and it's all done. If we go start 
internet, there's Skype. It's as easy as that. Okay, there we go. Skype's all installed. Now, if you want to, I'm going to give you one more demonstration here on uh, installing, let's like, say, something from Google. So, there are some Google software uh, applications out there that you can install on Ubuntu, but you're not really sure what the name of the package is. You can just go sudo aptitude install go tab. And there we have it. Well, we've got Google Earth, we've got Google Gadgets, Google Lizer. So we're going to go with uh, Google Gadgets. Let's see which package we have to take then. Uh, I think uh, Google Gadgets Common. I think it's the common one. Or uh, Google Gadgets, perhaps. Yep. There you go. Just enter Google Gadgets. And it has ah there you go. Uh, it wasn't the description that I made wasn't good enough. It says I can't find it. There are several out there, but I don't know which one you mean. So let's just go for Google Earth, for example. That was one word. And again, it will browse through that phone book of software available, and it will ask you if you want to install it. Now it's not working. I'm doing something wrong. I know what I did wrong. Forgot an E. There you go. Now it finds it in those repositories. It says it's 22 megabytes. Do you want to install? Yes, I do. And it will download it right away from the archives and put it right on there. Now, this is also cool if you don't know the name of a certain package, but there are some packages out there that you might know. For example, applications like VLC or um, there are some, uh, some PDF readers or something. You know, if you know the name of an application, how do you install it then? Well, you can install it using Aptitude as well, or you can use the third and most commonly used way of installing software and that is by uh, using the sudo apt get uh, command. So we're going to wait until this one finishes. There you go. And now we're going to install something with the sudo apt get command. sudo, because you are going to do this as a, a root user, as an advanced user, somebody with advanced rights. If you do it without it, uh, you won't be able to install. So sudo space apt get install and the name of the application, in this case, for example, VLC. So um, if you uh, use apt get, you'll, always, you'll also be able to install software from the command line. There you go. Do you want to install it? Yes. Now, as this install is running and we're rounding up the entire episode, I do want to show you one little quick tip that you surely must do when you install your Ubuntu system. Um, we'll have to wait a little bit until this install is complete, I think, because otherwise it's going to conflict. Well, we're going to give it a try. Add remove. <coughs> so you can see it's a really powerful system. You can do several things at the same time. And we are going to <coughs> enter the word restricted put this one on all applications and this is the package that you want to install these are your mp3 codecs these is this is your dvd playback this is a package that you really really ought to install because otherwise you're going to have some trouble when you need to install flash or use flash in your browser this install is complete i'm going to close that window Multimedia, there it is, VLC Media Player. And so we've just entered here the Ubuntu Restricted Extras. Again, apply changes, it's going to install that program. And those are all those fancy nifty codecs that you can't live without. And then your Ubuntu system is basically on the verge of being good to go. So as this install rounds up, I'm just going to quickly run you through all of the things that you have at your disposal. Here are your accessories with a DVD creator in there, your terminal uh, text editor. Um, you can take screenshots, which is really cool. You have a 
quite a few games on there. 